Hello and welcome. This is Professor Geta Puhol coming at you from the University of Central Florida and welcome to this uh, last installment of this week's videos on legal and ethical environment of business focusing on corporate governance. I promised to tell you um, a little bit about the Accountable Capitalism Act, ACA, that was introduced um, on the uh, floor of the Senate um, earlier this semester and um, talk about sort of the pros and cons of profit maximization theory and CSR. Um, well, we actually, we've seen the pros, right? Both are very um, intuitive, appealing theories, but what are some of the criticisms? Well, when it comes to uh, stakeholder theory, right? Um, perhaps an obvious criticism, a powerful criticism is that, um, you know, we're all interconnected. It can't just be about, um, you know, selfishly making money. Uh, you could argue that there's something unseemly about that. Um, and uh, this is where you have CSR come into play. Now, in fairness to profit maximization theory, I think there's a problem with uh, the stakeholder theory or the CSR approach. And that is, I want to illustrate that problem simply by showing you this scale, right? Why am I showing you a scale? Well, um, a scale is designed to weigh you, right? You, know, you put something on it, maybe a piece of luggage to see if you're below the 50 pound limit so you don't have to pay extra or you want to see, you know, how much you weigh, right? The, the scale is going to tell you if it's accurate, you know, what your weight is or how much your luggage weighs before you get to the airport. And I mentioned this in the con context of stakeholder theory because the one thing stakeholder theory doesn't tell us is it, it tells us that we should weigh a company, a firm, should weigh the interests of not just the shareholders, but all the other stakeholders as well. You know, in my cartoon example, if you have Daisy Duck representing your employees, uh, Minnie Mouse representing your suppliers, Jasmine, uh, you know, representing your, your customers and users, uh, you, you want to take into account their interests as well. My critique or the general critique is, well, what the theory doesn't tell us is how do we weigh these competing interests? Um, which of these stakeholders should be given the greatest weight or should they all be weighted equally? And if they're all weighted equally, what if a decision benefits some of your stakeholders, right? And um, does not benefit or imposes um, externalities or costs on some of your other stakeholders? You know, how do you mediate between that? I'll just add, personally, my critique is if at the end of the day, the shareholders are still going to have the greatest um, weight, then what has CSR really done? Is it just window dressing to the profit maximization theory? Well, I wanted to give you um, sort of both perspectives, uh, level it out. I will tell you about the ACA or Accountable Capitalism Act, uh, what it purports to do. It does it has many features to the uh, many proposals in the bill, but the big one is to replace the standard fiduciary duty aspect of business law, where a manager or a board of directors has a fiduciary duty to the owners of the business firm to the shareholders in the case of a corporation, it would actually replace that model of corporate governance with a stakeholder CSR model, uh, requiring um, that the board of directors, for example, take into account various stakeholders. Um, I will say, for example, this theory is uh, growing in popularity. California, um, Governor Jerry Brown just recently, a few days ago, uh, in case you watch this video a little bit later, uh, that would be uh, at the beginning of October of 2018, uh, signed into uh, law a bill that would require companies who have a headquarters in California, that would be Apple and Facebook, for example, to have a minimum number of women on their board of directors. The idea is if you were to go online and look at the board of directors of Apple Corporation or Facebook Inc., you'll see that is not very diverse. Um, now, whether this California bill will survive you know, legal attack, um, that remains to be seen. So I didn't want to focus on that example so much. With the Accountable uh, Capitalism Act, the basic idea is, hey, if the problem is with the law, let's change the law. Let's expand this idea of fiduciary duty. But in the end, you'll have to decide for yourself, you know, what is the best model of corporate governance? Well, thank you for your attention and have a great week and go Knights. Take care. God bless.